Thank you so much for joining us. We have some breaking news that we want to get right to at this hour. It is 1:13 here in the afternoon here in San Diego, and we are getting word of a fire in the Ramona area. It's being called the Kasner Fire, according to Cal Fire. So here it is, that chopper eight footage showing where this brush is currently burning. So this is off of Highway 78 and Kasner Road, uh, where that smaller road comes together. It is a fairly rural area. Checking at Cal Fire San Diego, they just tweeted out about 25 minutes or so ago that two structures are threatened, but this is burning at a moderate rate of speed. As you see from this chopper eight footage, we do see active flames, uh, obviously fairly large in size, and a lot of dark smoke as you see billowing. So if you're, you know, in that area, near that area, wondering where the smoke is coming from, here is where it is. It's the Kasner Fire off of Highway 78. And for some reference on where that is, it's between Ramona and Julian. And I do want to point out just near that area, there is a fire station, San Diego County Fire Station 85. There's also a Cal Fire Station pretty close nearby. Uh, it's also uh, just north of Edwards Vineyard and Cellars, the Oasis Camel Dairy. Those are two other, uh, you know, sites here on the map that I'm looking at that are near where this fire is. So at this point, it does not appear to be threatening any more than two structures that are on scene that are close by. At this point, we don't believe any structures are threatened or, excuse me, damaged, but it, uh, it is hard to tell. We're waiting for word from Cal Fire uh, right now to find out if there's anything else at risk that we do obviously want to warn you about. But obviously, Highway 78. It's best to stay away and avoid that if you can, right by Kasner Road. Uh, Meadow Star Ranch is also near there. So, as you know, in this rural part of town, there are a few ranches. Pine Hill Egg Ranch, also another one that I'm seeing here on the map, just looking at where this fire's burning and giving you some reference on uh, what might be nearby. And obviously, those locations. I would assume that deputies have gone by to let people know about this. So let me check Cal Fire here while we're talking. Uh, the Kasner Fire, the last up just came in. Uh, it looks like 30 minutes ago, the fire is 20 acres, moderate spread, burning in grass. And again, those two structures threatened. It's hard to tell what types of structures they're referring to. Sometimes these are just outbuildings that are out in those rural communities. And it started just about 40 minutes ago. That is also according to Cal Fire. Initially, no immediate structures were threatened. But as I mentioned, about 30 minutes ago, they did update that two were. And uh, it's called the Cal Kasner fire based on where it started there on Kasner Road and Highway 78. So as Chopper 8 is zooming out a little bit, you can see that this is, you know, pretty decent amount of smoke and the active flame. You can certainly see that line of red and what's burning there would be a lot of dry brush. Uh, some of that obviously browned. You see some of those medium height uh, trees looks like bigger bushes in that area and a rural road that you're looking at right there on that hill. And, you know, we've been talking about this a lot with how dry things are. We have not had significant rain, so our brush is extremely dry. What we've had throughout the day, though, weather-wise, would be onshore wind. So that's west wind that comes through, that not the dry Santa Ana winds. So that tends to bring a little bit of moisture into our air, adding to our humidity levels, increasing our dew points. That often helps out in these firefights. But when the brush is so dry, a lot of that is just like kindling. It's fuel for a fire. And that's what, you know, a little bit of wind will do is kind of nudge it along the dry brush right there. And as I'm looking at this, I don't see the fire attack from this viewpoint. I don't see aircraft necessarily. As we know all too often here in San Diego, when we get these brush fires, our fire crews are quick to bring on the helicopters, making those water drops. But so many fire crews are stretched th throughout our state because of the oak fire that's currently burning in the Yosemite National Forest. Uh, so, you know, right now on the ground, it's hard to see where firefighters would be set up to try to battle this. Uh, and obviously, Chopper 8, as I don't have control on, you know, the view that we'll get. But as it's zooming in here, uh, we're watching this along together. You can see that active flame. And that's kind of the, the, the direction that this is spreading. It looks to be from this vantage point going from west to east, I believe, uh, if I have my directions here uh, correctly. So, yeah, let's look like it's that, that direction moving from 
west-east because that, of course, is the wind direction that we're also seeing. So there's that wider view. And obviously, there are so many people that see smoke like this and obviously get concerned. And, you know, glad to say at least there is just brush burning right now. And those two structures being threatened, hard to tell, uh, you know, what their status is. Um, but I'm checking again on CAL FIRE's updates, and they haven't sent us another update. There we go. Now we're zooming in uh, to what might be a nearby ranch. So that's um, presumably the two structures that uh, were being threatened there. So hopefully, you know, those people got word. And if they have animals, are able to move those animals to a safer place. That's usually what we see happen here with uh, people out in those ranches that might have larger animals. It does take a bit of time to get those out of there. And, of course, we hope that uh, fire crews get a good handle on this before it spreads to any of those homes. I do want to look up something while we're talking here on the current weather conditions. We know it's been hot, uh, especially in the Ramona area. You've had repeated days of temperatures around 90 degrees in the low 90s, so that certainly can uh, be an issue and the heat doesn't help. There you see a little bit close up now of more of that active flame that's burning. It's basically low to medium sized brush. That's what firefighters usually refer to this as it seems. So it's lower to the ground. We're not seeing big trees burning. That usually sends a lot more smoke up in the air. That usually causes a lot more of this fire to spread more rapidly. Um, I'm going to zoom in right now on one of these maps that I have pulled up. It's from the Weather Service. Just looking at our current observations and this uh, will give me an idea of our wind direction and how dry it is, how hot it is there in the Ramona region. Because, uh, of course, we know that plays a huge role in these fires. And, um, you know, winds for now have been fairly calm. At least they were all morning long. We were covering weather, of course, all morning. And we only saw 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. So at this hour, usually in the afternoons, they do pick up a little bit. We get these afternoon winds that uh, tend to kind of cause things to gust up a little bit more. So uh, let me look here. Yeah, temperatures around there. Looks like there's a weather station fairly close to this fire showing about 90 degrees um, temperatures. And then our dew points, I do want to see... Okay, we're in the upper 50s and low 60s for dew points. Not as dry. When we get single-digit dew points, that really is a cause for concern. We haven't had issues like that. And wind speeds right now look to be just about 5 to 10 miles an hour in that location. So, again, this is, if you're just joining us right now, this is the Kasner Fire. That's according to Cal Fire, burning off of Highway 78 and Kasner Road. That's where it initially started. And uh, right now, the last update we got from Cal Fire, it was about almost 40 minutes ago now. So that update was that this is a 20-acre fire with moderate spread, and it's burning in grass. And at this point, two structures are threatened. And, uh, you know, for reference on where this is, it is burning between uh, Ramona and Julian, right in the foothills of our mountains. So between the uh, 78 and Highway 79, where that comes, it's west of Santa Isabel, west of Julian, of course, close to the Cleveland National Forest. It doesn't look to be in that location necessarily. I also have a view that I wanted to show you on our weather graphics. So if we can also pull that up, you can see the smoke as well from Mount Vulcan. So there's a camera set up at the top of Mount Vulcan. So if you see on the left-hand side of your screen right there, that's where that smoke is coming up from this fire, the Kasner fire. And you see it kind of getting taller, some of that darker smoke. Uh, as far as our conditions go when it comes to uh, what we're seeing in that area, like I mentioned, 90 degree temperatures and dew points are fairly high in the upper 50s. Winds, they're about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Each time I look at these observations, I don't see it increasing very much. So uh, again, this is the Mount Vulcan camera looking out towards the west and that's where you see that kind of area that looks pretty smoky in the middle of your screen on the left hand side and that would be the Kasner fire. So we can go back to chopper eight now and just get a, a check on any active flames. So there seem to be rolling hills in that area now, you know for some reference Edwards Vineyard does appear to be south of where this fire is south of Kasner Road. Highway 78 also known as Julian Road. I'm looking at this map. It is uh, looks like it's just west of Meadow Star Ranch. That's another uh, location here on the map. 
and Pine Hill Egg Ranch is to the north of where this fire is. So those are the closest uh, named places that I see here on the map. There's also a fire station very close to there. Cal Fires, Witch Creek Fire Station is actually pretty close just to the east of where this fire is burning. And obviously right now, you know, in the afternoons, it's the hottest time of our day. Between about 1, 2 o'clock, we get to the hottest moments when our, our high temperatures and low 90s is where we have reached now in Ramona. Uh, overall, our winds are thankfully not that dry wind. We do have an onshore flow, so it's a west direction. It's coming from the west towards the east and that is actually where you see some of this smoke being pushed so it looks like the smoke also moving that way along the foothills through those rolling hills and you see some of that flame right there so it's medium brush moderate spread right now and two structures threatened I keep checking in with Cal Fire and at this point that's all I'm seeing as far as their latest update this started about 50 minutes ago so here we are at 124 it started about I would say 1230 or so and uh, you know at last check they said 20 acres uh, that's how much it is spread and how much it is burned I'm looking for any other updates and that's all I see at this moment uh, so that is the very latest and temperature wise you know being in the low 90s that certainly is concerning there you can see this uh, ranch right next to where the fire is and you see two fire trucks there on the scene a lot of times they you know park in front of these yards to offer that structure protection there's another truck that likely is helping with this firefight, making sure it doesn't go down that valley where that home is, where that ranch seems to be. So you're seeing it move from that west to east direction because of our wind and some of that smoke now billowing down into the valley and over the hillside. And, you know, wind speeds, as I've mentioned, they're not too strong, but still 5 to 10 miles an hour. Uh, at this point, those current observations are not showing too strong of our sustained winds. I do want to check something real quick here as far as our gusts go. The strongest wind gust I've seen now in that area, about 17 miles an hour. So that's, you know, looks to be part of the reason this has grown a bit. And then, obviously, the dry brush does not help. We have not had rain for so long that all of that brush really is fuel for this fire, which is part of the reason why it's spreading there. And, you know, I do want to point out we have not seen that aircraft coming through uh, to bring in water drops, but usually fire crews are quick to do that. So that's something we'll also be watching for. We're going to continue to bring you updates as soon as we get them. For now, that's the very latest a fire burning in the Ramona area between Ramona and Julian off of Highway 78 and Kasner. It's being called the Kasner Fire. Be sure to check here with CBS for the very latest. We'll be sure to bring you all the updates as we get them. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Nettie Iranpour.